please welcome to the stage from Supernatural, Jared Padalecki, <laughs> Jason Ackles, and Mark Shepard! <laughs> this is all about me right now. Yeah. I already had hugs backstage, I'm taking two. Yeah, I'm greedy. All right, here we go. This is happening, this is happening. You smell like you're on vacation. Like, there's just something wonderful about it, though. It's, Everything that you I just said is gonna get tattooed on my ass. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Isn't it already? Welcome. Yeah. There's no room anywhere else. <laughs> Everything else is covered. Three drinks, Aisha, three? This one is water, uh, totally uh, uh, not needed. I smelled it. Um, this one is Red Bull. This is like, a, I have a poor man's eight ball going over here. Like, <laughs> bourbon and like, Red Bull. <laughs> hydrate and dehydrate. Yes, hydrate. yes, exactly. Mixing cocktails over there. Let's talk very briefly, because the two of you are adults, um, but this one on the end here. <laughs> <laughs> we were dancing in this room like 47 minutes ago. Was this? Was it this room? It was this room. Come on. I know you don't remember seeing it. You were in it for well, hours. Uh, um, yes. So we I'm were. There was a big yeah. dance party here last night, and we were all very, very happy. Yeah. Very, very happy. Very right? happy. So Jen and the boys stayed in Vancouver, and so I was to Asia, my wife and kids. <laughs> um, and so when I get like a day or a night and I, I'm not waking up in the morning with kids and changing diapers and yada yada. I'll go out and be a, you know, 15 year old Texas boy. <laughs> so I can't, I'm told I had fun. Any, any particular 15 year old Texas boy or just one in general? Um, a really big one. Specific, a big one, yeah. <laughs> it, the moose comes out. Like, <laughs> he, is the, he is the happiest, the antlers come out. huggiest, smoochiest <laughs> drunk. Oh yeah. Literally There's just a like a big old kidney. Like, <laughs> so it was really fun. I seem really to recall fun. at one point in time going up to give Aisha another big hug. She's like, enough, enough, enough. <laughs> like you had enough, I could hug. <laughs> we're Free friends, hug. it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there was also a guy who looked just like you here last night. I heard. Uh, he, and we kept running up to him to talk to him. He looked just like you from behind and from the front. No, no. <laughs> More like this. No. No. <laughs> Now that Misha's not here, all of the abuse is going to be hate yeah, on Mark. Really, yeah, yeah, there's no Misha. By the way, you've become it. the fall guy now. There's, there's a definite slope on this. <laughs> that, could be, <laughs> that, that could be Brad Pitt over here. But Jensen and I have a long-standing agreement that, like, we don't tease or prank each other because it, it escalates. So it just gets violent. Whoever quickly. the other person is, is like, let's get them. <laughs> so welcome to the world of the punching bag. <laughs> I knew guys like you in high school. With All right, let's, should we do it? Do we want to do it? We let's do it? do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Hands up. Sun's out, guns hey, out. Hey, um, All right. Me, me real quick question hey, real fast. Guys. Is this anybody's first Nerd HQ with us? Awesome. Awesome. Well, well nice to see you guys. Yeah. I like you hey, to think about that one. She's like, with you, yes. I've been oh, coming here for convoys. years. <laughs> <laughs> to see way more important people. Can you give me the banner? This year I stuck around for you. <laughs> she has, you have Thanks. convoys. She has convoys. Hey, guys, I have convoys. I'm convoys. ready. I love your oh, shirt, you're on fire. as always. Hey, Bo, I'm here with an important message for Jared. We know your birthday is next week. I'm going to apologize for my accent. It's horrible. I love your accent. <laughs> it's better than Shepard's. What accent? <laughs> I don't have an accent. Where I come from, everybody talks like this. <laughs> Fair enough. So, Jared, uh, since April, Fans have been collecting money in your honor. To give me money? No. <laughs> to he donate. Need it. I like it. He doesn't need to it. To donate it. Uh, it was a donation to Wonder Warriors and to Operation Smiles, which I have that one here to give it to you so you can give it to them. In your honor from your fans. I have a poster with the signatures of everybody that donated. Yeah. And a journal with messages Woo! from everybody. That's a good birthday present right there. She's whispering in his ear, I have your home address. I'm Just, coming over later. We'll be here for a couple of hours. I made you a lasagna. <laughs> Someone lasagna'd me? 
<laughs> you weren't lying about the huggy thing, are you? I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's because it's he's still room. drunk right now. It's, <laughs> it's this room. This it's room. this room. <laughs> oh my God. Um, just so you guys know, uh, over a thousand dollars was raised. Woo! Incredible. Oh my God. So I'm mistaken. So um, seven hundred dollars went to Wounded Warrior, and there's fourteen hundred dollars here for Operation Smile. So wow. two, over two thousand. Wow. wow. What is your name? Uh, what's your name, sweetheart? Say what's it? What is? Hmm? Sandra. Everybody, give it up. Oh, Sandra, find your voice. Give it up for Sandra. But I think with the accent, it's probably Sandra. Sandra. That was awesome. And um, amazing. How, how amazing, guys. That's cool. The, 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 the best thing about this show, it caught us all, it caught me off guard. I know it caught Jensen and Mark off guard. It just caught us off guard. Like, we went to an audition one time and we're like, these are kind of cool characters. I watch X Files. And now it's become something <laughs> where, like, the sum is so much greater than its parts. And it's become this family. And I was, we were doing some roundtable interviews. And I was saying there's this, there's this level of dedication that w we've had to the show and that y'all have had to the show. And it, it feels like we're, like, supernatural alumni or something. <laughs> it's like, hey, where'd you go to school? Supernatural. <laughs> Me too. Like, so it's a cool, but it's, it's not just, it, it's, it's inspired. <laughs> Jensen is totally not co-signing any Give me of this. <laughs> I came in in season five, and I'm way, way older than you. But you still, but that <laughs> means you've been doing it for lady. seven years. I'm the lunch lady. I love you're Matt, you are, no, you're Matt McConaughey and Dazed and Confused still uh, trying to have sex with 15-year-olds. Yes, <laughs> Hold on. I should tell her, how dare you? How but it's, dare it, you? It's stuff like this that, that, that makes it so much better. Love you guys. Thank you. Uh, do we want to just work our way down the aisle towards the front with the girl with the lost convoys? So, guy there with interesting sleeve. Oh, you gotta be burning up. Okay, um, it's my wife's birthday today. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! And I completely screwed up and didn't do anything. So, uh, you brought her here. What do you mean, didn't do anything? You brought her here. Yeah, you're doing it right now, it seems like. <laughs> but honestly, that was more for me, too, so. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you're winning all the time, buddy. Look at this. Woo! Uh-oh, here comes Where Mark is Shepard. she? Wait, wait, no, no, I was asking to ask the other two guys. Shut out of the way. Oh! <laughs> triple boo! Oh, that's good. Yeah. Funny. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Excuse me. You still here? Can I go with him? No. <laughs> Later, babe. <laughs> Thank you very much. I would say I might get lucky tonight, but she'll probably be thinking about one of you guys anyway. <laughs> aren't, aren't we all? Okay. Moving okay. <laughs> forward. Which one, Aisha Tyler? Which one? Oh, who oh. am I thinking about? Yeah. Hopefully me, if she me. knows what's good for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Happy, right Happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. Uh, this, this lady on the aisle here with her hand up. Yeah. Hi, guys. Um, I brought these gummy bears for you guys. Bring them up. <laughs> Launch them. Never oh, yeah. seen those before. They definitely don't have roof and all in them. Just flying gummy bears now. It's oh, just, yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah. It used to be tomatoes. Now it's gummy bears. <laughs> I see where this is going. <laughs> but um, my sister, who couldn't make it here, um, wanted you guys to sign her badge. Did you guys do that for her? Yeah. While they're signing her you have a pen? badge, why don't we continue with questions so we make the most of our time on this planet? Uh, lady on the aisle with the glasses, and then we're gonna come to the lady with the lime tree and shirt, and then we're, okay, it's working, yeah. Go Hi. ahead, sweetheart. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, good. Good, good, good. Um, That's a proper accent. <laughs> it absolutely is. I like it. Will somebody translate for me? We're growing in numbers, slowly but surely. Shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, shite. <laughs> I mean, bollocks. Bollocks. Shite. Bollocks. Bollocks. Painful. It's so painful. 
Um, oh. So, uh, Jensen and Misha have both directed episodes. Uh, I was wondering if there was any possibility or indeed any desire or intention of you two directing episodes. Only if we do it together. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. That, that I may do. That, oh. You know what? I haven't signed my contract yet, so I'm going to add that into the contract. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. We're in. Let's do Good. it. Good. Yeah. Um, I, Great idea. Personally, I, I, I don't want to say like directing doesn't interest me. It's certainly very interesting and, and cool and, and neat. Um, my it's fa- neat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you direct? Oh, you're like, you're direct. oh that's, that's neat. I, uh, cool beans, you guys. <laughs> Need a mosquito. You would be the huggiest. They'd just be hugging. No, nothing That's ever a great committed scene. to film, you guys. <laughs> that too. Um, uh, my favorite thing to do when Jensen's directing um, is like on June 26th when he's flying to Vancouver is to send pictures of myself like wakeboarding in Austin, like drinking some wine in Texas, like sleeping in. I'll like wake up at 10.30 a.m. and be like, oh man, I just woke up. What are you doing? He's like, I'm prepping to direct, asshole. Um, so I, I, uh, I, uh. Yeah, I'll be on my third tech scout of the day and he's essentially laying poolside, still enjoying his summer vacation. At his pool. <laughs> true story. <laughs> Unfortunately. Very true story. Hey, where's this? Uh, oh. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> Beyond just the time uh, commitment, I, um, I really feel strongly for myself about sticking with just, uh, I love Sam Winchester. I, 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 he's, he and I are, are pretty tight. So tight. We're, like, we're pretty tight. He's, pretty tight. he's not a person, yeah. you know that, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm sticking with uh, I'm sticking with just uh, acting for this show. Shep. Oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. Yeah, well, we'll find out. Um, yeah, I, I direct. I haven't done any TV yet, but we'll see if they'll let me someday. I think British people. I'd love to see you direct. Yeah. I would love to see you direct. I love directing. Uh, My favorite I, thing to do. I you think... don't have to shave. If you're not in it, you don't have to show. Uh, <laughs> you don't Shepherd, have to get dressed up. What do you What do you like about directing? Why are you really honest? Right telling really people what to really do. Answer? Why is Jensen no, Kanye West? To... He was like, "What you like about directing, yo?" What do you like about directing? What you like, dog? Hey, dog. Why you like? Why you like? What you trying to be committed to cellular? Hey, yo. Shit. <laughs> and in the I blue corner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. It's. It's there is something punctu- I really like. It's a punctuation love. on a question. It's like, let me ask you something. When you... <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's really good. Totally disarming. But, an no, absolute... no, no, no. Seriously, what is... The you really want to straight answer that? What is your favorite thing about directing? <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> I could never do that. Like... It spun, it left my arm, like bounced off my elbow. And I, I never thought it was one of those things this. I could never do again. I tried to spin it and it like flew into nowhere and I caught it. I was like, I never thought I'd say this in my life, ever, 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 ever. But I actually miss Misha. <laughs> Hashtag that just happened. Should one of us try to FaceTime him right now? Yeah. So no. Okay. <laughs> My phone's out of battery. Making it's, a place it's three, where two, magic three. can happen. Wait, it's what? Is, seven, seven. <laughs> is San Diego sucking the battery life yes. out of everybody's phones? The, ba- the, the battery life out about? of people's phones and also the battery life out of our souls. Yes, yes totally. That's... Some of us bring extra battery. Holy crap. Aw, old That's lady. not a case. That's a command center. <laughs> yeah, but I have 100%. <laughs> Can you? No, no, no. I never give my phone to any of these guys. No. Stuff happens. 
He takes my phone and he's going, oh, that's a great picture of this. And he's got like, I like to pick my nose. I, I hate my Twitter followers. Everybody's an ass. You he's are that face. literally, it's and you evil. know you just PG-13 the fuck out of what he actually puts in your phone. <laughs> no, like that's what he wrote. He's like just a picture of like his taint and then he just gives you the phone back. <laughs> I wish, that I could deal with. <laughs> did I send that to you? Yes, you did, yes, you did. And I, it now it's my, it's my avatar on Facebook. How could, you how could you tell it was his? Oh, he's got a mole that's shaped like Sam Winchester. <laughs> that's um, what I thought. Can we, let's move down this way. Uh, that was almost go, awesome. She was like, go, here, I've got a Mophie right here. We're gonna go Convoy. Check this out, and it's dead. Convoy's on this side, and then we're gonna come here to this lady right here, and then we're gonna go to the guy who looks like Bill Nye. Oh, guy. look at this, look at this. Yes, this is why we come to Nerd HQ. Batteries. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> more batteries. Jesus we need Christ. more big batteries. Big bags of money don't just fall out of the sky. Um, okay, do we have, we have, uh, yeah, here we go, convoys. Little do I know it's downloading all of my information right now. <laughs> 17 pictures of uh, Jared's taint. Go ahead. <laughs> Every time. Is, is taint the proper word for that, though? It is. Taint it this and it taint that. that. Taint one thing, a taint the other. Medical term. Look it up. Is there a better term? <laughs> yeah. My buddy, my buddy right had word. a term for it, which was the maboobly. No, no one Just wants a great to name. say that. The maboobly. That's something that comes to your hut in the middle of the night and kills your children. I was going to say, sleep. that's like a boogeyman. <laughs> that is, I remember that episode. That was season three. <laughs> the mab right after the thin man, the maboobly. <laughs> We're going to salt and burn that shit. You'll never forget it. <laughs> So, what? um, if any of you guys could live in a movie universe or a TV universe, you know, something you like, if you could live in it, what, what show? It would not be Supernatural. I hope not. <laughs> I'll tell you I that much. Not. I don't know what it would be yet, but it would not be Supernatural. I think it would be... Uh, is it working? Just calm down. <laughs> He's getting it. He's getting it. He's driving, so this could get interesting. <laughs> He's not, gonna, he's not gonna answer. Mine... He's not gonna answer. He knows, he knows what we're doing right now. Yeah. He's like, I know what they're doing, I'm not gonna answer. I'm not he gonna has, answer that. He has spies. Did you ask a question? Not happening. Yes, yes. I'm not answering it. Answer the question, Jared. My ideal universe, you know what? <laughs> Gilmore Girls, was, Stars Hollow was pretty sweet. Yeah, it was pretty idyllic. There were like funny townspeople to make fun of. Aunt, what the he likes the stuff he's been in. That person would want to be in the Jungle Book. That just, <laughs> that just made my con. Was that the unicorn? What again? Salem? What? Salem? Sa Halo. Salem. That took me a minute. I'm like, Salem. Salem. Who wants to live in Salem? No, that's never mind. Let's not bring up the past. <laughs> Days of our lives. <laughs> I got a new Sammy. Uh, shorter hair. Almost. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. You know what's funny is I, I, I always thought I wanted to be like, like medieval times. And like, like the restaurant? Like the bar? Turkey leg. Yeah. <laughs> Big turkey leg and a bunch of guys out yeah, with swords. Mead and a turkey leg. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, yes, and, then and then as I got seat. older and I realized that disease yes. and the smell yeah. and, rot. and, and yeah. toilet paper, everybody the lack had of syphilis. dentistry, everybody over plumbing, the age of seven portable syphilis. phone chargers. <laughs> <laughs> then I thought that's probably not a good idea. No. Indoor plumbing that's is probably always not a better. Good idea. Um, Throw your chamber pot. Is that code for something? <laughs> no. Yeah, your chamber bot. Yeah, chamber, chamber, chamber pot. You like poop, and then you'd fling your poop out the window See, like a monkey. I, I would prefer a chamber bot. <laughs> so you want to live in the in future. Salem? <laughs> Salem, twenty forty. <laughs> Mark. I don't know. What show would I want to live in? You had two answers to think of an answer. Oh, God, I wasn't listening. <laughs> we were stalling for I you. I want to live in the sitcom O oh Crowley, <laughs> where every scene is buttoned by somebody looking at me and going, O oh Crowley. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hey. 
Uh, right here. Right here with the glasses. And then Bill Nye, the science guy. Yeah. <laughs> Bill's here? Hi. Hi there. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, this, the more I think about this question, the more it sounds like a Miss America pageant question, but it, I mean it earnestly. Um, if you could get world I'm going to answer a la Miss America pageant. World peace. Though. Just work world peace into the answer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about how you guys are such big inspirations to your fans with all your reaching out and your charity work. And it's all so great. And I just was wondering who inspires you guys to always keep fighting? Thank you. Great question. Um, <clears throat> and I will answer a la reality. Um, for me, I get <clears throat> a lot of inspiration from my family, from my, my sons and my wife. But I, I'm overwhelmed in situations like this with the amount of support I feel from y'all. And I hope y'all feel the same support and acceptance and love from us because it exists and we don't get to show it as much. You know, we're the ones on stage, but we're not on stage without you guys. And that's, I mean, that sounds like a, you know, like it sounds like you're told to say this kind of shit, but we're not here without you, period. So thank you. I get inspiration from that, from people spreading the word, doing whatever they can. And I think what Supernatural is about is just these two guys who are frankly just doing the best they can. And it's in these, fantastical elements and they're zombies and ghosts and crazy insurmountable odds, but they're trying, you know, they're, they're fighting, they're keeping up the fight. So everybody in their own little arena through their own mediums fighting their fight is kind of what <clears throat> inspires me. Yeah. Thank you. That was nice. I think it's really, it's, it's true. I think, I think the brother's journey is, I watched the show before I was ever in the show. I think the brother's journey is an allegory for life struggle. I mean, it really is an allegory for life struggle. I think so many of us, including me, relate to it because it's the demons and, and the difficulties that everybody faces. And, and without putting too fine a point on it, I don't think anybody in this modern world escapes without some difficulty. We all know, have, or are part of, or are touched by people in sometimes grave difficulty. And the differences between what I see in fandom and what I see possible with the work that I've seen these two, and hate to say it, but Misha do as well, <laughs> um, is that things that are done with love, out, putting your hand out to help another human being is the most perfect thing to be able to do. It's, it's, it, it makes you a human being, it gives you the opportunity to love is the greatest uh, expression of love, to love, not to just to receive love, but to love. And there's a song about that? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much every song's about that, if you think about it. But that's the thing. It's, it's, we're all touched by difficulty. And to see you guys struggle and overcome and then help each other, and that's the most powerful thing I've ever seen around fandom, is that people come together in the spirit of love to actually help each other out. It's fantastic to watch. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I was just gonna, I mean, literally ditto to, to, to both of what these guys said, that the, the inspiration uh, over the past 10 years has, has widely come from the fans themselves uh, and what you guys bring to us. Um, the great thing about being a part of the show and doing what we do um, is that we have found a connection, uh, a tangible connection with, um, with you guys and, and with those that, that who can't be here right now. Um, you know, we get to we get to be in a small room with you. We get to talk to you. We get to hug you. We get to hear stories that, that you tell us directly to our faces. And and that is, um, if you if you can't draw inspiration from that, then I don't I don't know what what what'll work for you. But uh, that certainly uh, gives us a, a lot of the fuel that keeps us running and doing what we do on a year to year basis. So thank you. Thank you. As a fan, I will say that the thing I've really enjoyed about this season, I'm not quite done, so, well, you can spoil it, I don't give a shit. Um, but is, uh, they, these guys are heroes, but you know, they have frailties. And like all of us, at some times they wanna give up, you know what I mean? And what's been interesting is that they've always been able to lean on each other, right? When, when Sam wanted to check out, Dean fought for him, and, when, and this season when Dean was like, fuck all this noise, I'm gonna get wasted. Speaking of that, can I get another theme. apple juice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, Sam has fought for him, and I think um, I think that just felt really real and authentic. Because I think we've all at times in our lives been like, I'm just tired. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, they, you know, they carry a really heavy burden, and I think we think of our heroes as being, you know, impervious and perfect. And these guys are much more human. Well, and, and, and I also want to add, I want to add that that uh, the majority of the inspiration that I, I believe that we all get is is from is directly from you guys. But I get a lot of inspiration from these guys. Um, you know, I'm inspired to go to work and work with Jared. I'm inspired to go to work and work with Mark and, and Misha and, and Ruth and, and all of these amazing guest stars that we've had throughout the years. Uh, you know, that's, um, that's, it's fun. Like, I really, truly enjoy doing what I do, and, and it's because these guys enjoy it. And we all, you know, I feel like we all kind of make each other better. And, but again, the, the common denominator here is you guys. So uh, thank you for allowing us uh, that playground to play and to, to, to be inspired upon. To be inspired upon. Bill Nye, the science guy, and then the unicorn. Well, first it's the doctor. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Who? You Mark, look like Bill Nye. Do something. And that is the end of uh, that doctor. question. Hold on, I have something I have to do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, hey, do you want me to come here? Come here, come towards me, tall boy. Come I believe me. it's Doctor now, Tall Boy. For the, for, the, for the rest of my life, because I was on Doctor Who, I get to do this. Aww. That makes me happy. Aww, you, Jared, do you, you want to straighten Bill Nye's tie. Yeah, hey, Jared, feel like the rest of us. Stand next to him. Whoa! Yeah. Jared, welcome to my world! <laughs> welcome to my world! <laughs> That's what it feels like. You understand, Jared has a complex. No one taller than him on set. Security. Uh, <laughs> he's, like, he's like the Lucy of Supernatural. No one can be taller or prettier. The Stallone than Jared. of Supernatural. Yeah. Yeah. And he has longer hair, too? Yeah. Lucy. Come on, man. And, and he's way better. better looking. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Was there, was there a question, or are you just being tall? <laughs> I was mostly just if you wanted me to make Jared feel short, and I guess that worked. Yay! Mission accomplished. That's made my Comic Con. We have to we have to cue the Charlie Brown music. What's the meaning of tallness, guys? <laughs> All right, unicorn, and then uh, we're gonna move into the back after that. <laughs> Never gets old. It never gets old. Never, never gets old. It never does, right? Nope. Like, it's about to get serious because I want to tell Jen. Uh, okay, Jen never mind. We can't talk to the unicorn. We're going to go in. Yeah, no, just got old. It. Just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Got to get it underneath. Got to get it inside. <laughs> just like. <laughs> you got to get it in. That's what she said. You got to really get it in there. Got to get it all the way in there. It's not going to work oh, no. if you don't get it. Be aggressive. Get it inside. <laughs> Work it. You gotta work it in there. <laughs> it's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna be the microphone. It's gonna... I haven't had enough to drink. I'll be right. I'm gonna need more apple juice. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Try again. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do this. Uh... You gotta relax. <laughs> It'll go better if you. <laughs> Too much. It was a little bit that time. It went for, I love it. All the me. way in. Oh, I got it in. Come on, we don't have all day. No, no, um. I've got a class that's even in even worse. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, Jens, uh, Jensen, I want to thank you. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> can, can you bring us a glass of bourbon? Oh. Right here. Hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jensen, I want to thank you for, um, for um, be awesome, and then Jared, I want to thank you for being, uh, all you three are awesome people, um, but I really want to thank you guys um, for your charity work. Um, it means a lot, and especially what you guys recently had. Um, I was wondering, because you guys have such a big influence on cult, cult, like, um, cult like, you know, with the cult following and this big following, would you guys ever consider doing like a documentary or something with special? <laughs> About unicorns. <laughs> 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 
Would we ever think about doing a documentary? About, about, the, about the charity work that you guys done and how much it means, because you guys have, your back, like your story, um, like Jared, your story is so inspirational. I never expected that voice to come out of that voice. No, like you're... I'm sorry, first the hamster and now this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm done, I'm done. I'm making a documentary I, about uh, this. I think I understand. I think I understand. <laughs> I think I understand. <laughs> I think I understand the question. Um, I I never thought about making a documentary necessarily. Um, th this has been this has been pretty fresh. Jen, Jen, Jen. The uh, same apple juice, please. Uh, one more. This is Jen. We go back many many years. Just one more. One more. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's um, juice, juice. It's but the we, apple juice, we, so the best juice, apple juice for grown-ups. Juice. <laughs> I would love, someday, I think what's, what's really cool so far is person-to-person -person interactions. I mean, this is stuff like this. And I think the first Always Keep Fighting campaign we did was just, what, five months ago or something? Four or five Our months Shepherd ago. Our shepherd is dying. So it's been, it's been, it's been fresh. Someday, sure. <laughs> What love is? <laughs> Won't you? you the mic. I, did. I really wish I had a pile of ones right now. <laughs> ones? A lot of ones. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. And. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. We're going to rotate around the back. Uh, there's a lady with a red phone and a tattoo. Uh, and then uh, after her, we're gonna go over there to a person with strings on their wrists. Oh, yes, and uh, this is for you, sir. Uh... Really, you deserve this last night. Whoa, whoa, Ixnay on the outside leg. <laughs> I have about it. Zach got Levi, got a lap dance. Thank you. Did he really? <laughs> no. I I'm probably... jealous now. You missed it, though. You should have I did out. miss it. You, you missed it. I know. It was a spectacle. It was so much fun. I was dealing with actual apple juice last night, so that's... Aw, the kids are with you. Yeah. Hi. You had enough fun for Is both of them. Is this on? Okay, good. All right. I have a question for you. After 10 seasons of doing this show, can you think of a moment or a storyline in the mm. past 10 seasons that really sort of solidified who your character was to you? Like a moment when you said, okay, I know what his motivation is. I know what's in his head. What pops into my head... The pull-up scene from season nine. <laughs> 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 Crunches. What pops into my head that I really actually love, this is just what popped into my head. I mean, in 218 hours of television, there are probably many things, but I can't help but think of the scene, especially because this season, Sam and Dean are on the same team again, and there was a scene in our episode Fresh Blood where Sam says to Dean, you know, you're my brother. Um, and that is what popped into my head as you said that. I wasn't thinking about it. But it's a scene where we're buckling down to hide from Gordon, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously memorable. <laughs> <laughs> that was for me. Uh, about, about commitment. You know, to me that meant it was a commitment and a sacrifice. And like we talked about a second ago, um, whatever your sacrifice are, is in your specific position, just the willingness to make a, a choice and a sacrifice and a commitment, um, whatever your struggles are, I guess. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the sacrifice the brothers make throughout the, the years has been um, pretty selfless. And I think, you know, you look back to, uh, I guess, the beginning of, yeah, actually season nine, um, when... Dean was essentially thought that he was doing the right thing with Gadriel, and obviously that didn't turn out so well for, for everybody involved. Um, and it was, he basically was, you know, so sick with guilt that he was going to do anything and everything that he could to fix what was happening and to save his brother. And, you know, there was a, there was a specific scene. It was the scene um, with the hellhounds. And he told Sam to stay with the family and that he's the one that's going to grow old and that Dean's going to be the one that, that's going to go out. Uh, and so that, that kind of constant sacrifice, that constant 
you know, putting putting the putting others before you, I think has been a, a mission statement for for these guys for a long time. I remember season one, um, Dead in the Water, it was Kim Manners' first episode he ever directed, and I think that that gave that gave me a very clear understanding as who this character was that particular episode, because it was about it wasn't it wasn't about us. It was about helping people. And, you know, the kid drowning in the lake, and it was just, it, we couldn't have gotten there fast enough. And I'm like, okay, now I get who these characters are. They are, you know, that they are, are sacrificial heroes, and they will do anything and everything that they can, including lay, lay down their life for the greater good. And uh, that's, a, that's a really cool story to tell, and it's a really fun character to play. And then you, when you watch it, as I have to do, Watching them, I mean, from the, from the outside, I have a really weird peripheral relationship with the Winchester brothers. It's fascinating to see that even though when they're reduced to the lowest common denominator, they always do the right thing. They always pick the path, sometimes the hardest path, but they try to save, they try to make better, they try not to make worse. And yet, what they're going to pay for in season 11 is the choices that they've made at the end of every other season so sure. far. True. That's exactly what's going on. Because even though when you reduce them to their, you know, literally saving people and hunting things, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying. Um, but I guess that's one of the other lessons of the show is that uh, every coin has a flip side, you know. With there's, every, a there's a cost to it all. Mm -hmm. Everything has a decision. And I, I'm going to fix my answer without getting too deep, but looking over here at Jensen and Mark made me remember the... End of season eight, oh. sacrifice. That to me really solidified why I understood Sam. Because I, Jared, without getting too deep, have always had a, a, a complex about disappointing people or feeling like I'm disappointing people or I'm not enough or I'm not good enough. And so to hear Sam, to, to see Sam do it in a script form <clears throat> was really powerful to me. And this was 176 episodes in, right? But to read something and go like, oh my God, like they're writing my fucking life story. Like this is, that's me. Like I'm just looking at people I love going like, I hope I haven't let you down. <clears throat> Anyways, no, no, that's, this is not, no. So I think, I think that, yeah, da -da -da. <laughs> No, I mean like that's, I think this, the end of season. <laughs> Have a gummy bag. I can't, there's a fan tail stuck on my teeth. Those are the most delicious. Look, you're good. Those, just those three teeth, though, you sacrifice those. You're never coming that thing. back. That I is do. the most delicious candy I've ever eaten, by the oh, way. God. Yeah, totally. It's like a dog with peanut butter. What's, what's a fantail? <laughs> That's a fantail. Yeah. Fantail? What's a fantail? Fantail's a It'll take your, tit, your dental work out. Be really Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. 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 Yeah, remove your. It's one of the best remove candies Remove your ever bridge made. before you eat it, but it is so delicious. Take your bridge work out. Jensen, I. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you have fake teeth, it'll pull them out. If you, if you have real teeth, it'll pull them out. <laughs> All right, next question. What's that? <laughs> Throw it like Dean. I'll take somebody's tooth out. Ooh -ha. Who has the next question, Aisha? Yeah, who does have the next question? Uh, oh, it was, uh, did we do tattoo with the phone already? We did. Okay, good. Let's move over here. I, I'm trying not to favor one side. Let's All do. Right. Uh, let's. Oh yeah, plaid shirt with the with the bracelets, and then dude with red shirt. Yeah, rock and roll. Yeah, I got her. I got you, didn't I? I just sometimes sit up here like a fan, and I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to do shit. So guy, guy, you know you can read these too. It's even better. They're yeah, movie. Yeah, I was also questions. worried that all the fan tales were going to be gone. So go ahead and ask your question. I like that. I like that. Hi. Hi. Uh, so I actually did have a really deep supernatural question. Yes. That I had been, well, Let's that get I had deep. Been planning on in the Hall H line yesterday, but then you posted that really long Facebook rant about your airplane. So I'm just that was me. That was yeah. me. That was me. So I'm just wondering, what are the airlines that you can always count on that never lets you down? My car. <laughs> Padalecki Air. <laughs> Padalecki Air. Um, uh, if I find it, uh, I'll send it out. If you find one? What airline were you ranting about? Delta. Dude. Dude. 
Zach did too? Not gonna lie, I had an hour and a half sitting on the tarmac at Delta yesterday, but Jared already beat me to the punch, so I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna add insult to injury. Uh, you know what, look, air travel's always tough, and, uh, you know, we, we travel quite a bit, um, and, you know, there's, there's problems that come along with that. You know, there are delays, it's no one person's fault, uh, except last, yesterday when um, the guy who I paid to make him check his bag. Um, I mean, a guy who, what? My, I'll stop my, talking. My, my feeling is that if somebody's trying, like if I sit for four hours on a tarmac, but I know they're trying to make the situation okay, air travel's not cheap. We didn't pay for this travel because Warner Brothers did for travel. But people, like you're sitting next to families and people are paying hundreds or a thousand plus dollars. Like guys, like at least try. You want to see somebody with a crescent wrench. You want to see somebody actually trying to fix it. Of course. (laughs) Like at least have a tool belt and look like you're trying or something. Um, I I don't mind if, yeah. Please never make that face again. (laughs) Um, As long as somebody is trying. But I just had a... I Hold on, just burning it in. <laughs> oh, go. God. <laughs> so disturbing. So disturbing. <laughs> That's disturbing. It was worse than that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even... Oh, it, when I find the airline, I will tweet the, the mother out of them. I know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, dude in red shirt. And then dude in front. Uh, hi. That hey. Yes, hi. So it's great to meet you. I came from Israel. Uh, Welcome. Also, thank you. Uh, and I have a question. How was your airline experience? Was it good? Uh, not so much, but, uh, well, you know. El Al, uh, Delta, which? Uh, something Russian. Something Russian? Yeah, Aero, we... Aeroflot. Oh. Oh. Super yeah. memorable, too. Oh, yeah. Something Russian. Yeah. Yeah. Something Aeroflot. Russian. Aeroflot. I don't know. Yeah, uh, airline. Aeroflot. Yeah, exactly. Aeroflot. That. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's Vidania Airlines. Yeah, I was, well. So uh, I have a question. I mean, uh, the, my favorite part of every season is, you know, the last episode when you had the, uh, the carry Where on. somebody dies. No, that kind of, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love the carry on uh, sequence that uh, which uh, you see everything. I wonder if you are excited to see the whole season fold out in the previously, the final previously. Oh, you know? I know what you mean. Yeah, like the, the, the recaps. The, yeah, the, the yeah, recaps. recaps. I'm sorry, my translation, I tried to translate no, no, no. as I go. Perfect, so. understood. I love those. Did you, did you, did anybody get to the panel today? <laughs> so that recap we had at the panel was shown only to us at the 200th episode party. Never mm-hmm. again and never before until today. And it was a recap of all 200 episodes. Of all 200 episodes. Wow. We're trying to get them to put up on the DVDs. I think they're going to put it. It'll probably be on the DVD release. Yeah. Uh, so. And one small thing, uh, Jared. Every yes. time my girlfriend is uh, angry at me, I do I tell her I lost my shoe. <laughs> she's like uh, laughing immediately. It's used her. And if you, I wonder if you could say to her, I lost my shoe. Yeah, I can even do the face wash. <laughs> whoa, whoa. You have, you have to look at me like Dean looks at me. Uh, Mark, say action. <laughs> action. I lost my shoe. Are we still going? I didn't still got. Cut. 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 <laughs> cut. Yeah, yeah, cut. 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 You know, I liked it, but I think he could have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just a couple of notes. Just wig, and actually, Scripty needs to step in because it didn't match. It didn't no match. continuity. <laughs> right? Yeah, the exactly. hair didn't match. It's a continuity. It's a continuity issue. The hat Where's the hat? Further back on her head. Okay, uh, we're coming up to we uh, guys. We can see front, the fan tail in the back. And here then too. lady on the aisle, and then we'll move back this way. There we go. Our, hello, gentlemen. Hello, I'm boys. Hello, Nice to meet you. He's uh, doing an impression. No, no. no. Hello, boys. He's doing an impression of Misha. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I was actually wondering, as you may very well know... Peek uh, to the right. What? Peek, peek to the right. <laughs> Meta. <laughs> yeah. Now no you pressure. know how we feel. Anyway. Um, gentlemen, I was wondering, as you know, Misha puts on his interesting yet terrifying scavenger hunt every single year, Gish West. Uh, and I was wondering if you've ever submitted something to his uh, 
one of his scavenger hunt items that he's ever flat out rejected. <laughs> I've, I, I've never submitted anything. You've been asked to submit, haven't you? I think I just was recently asked to submit. <laughs> he's been asked to submit one about me. He's running out of, he's obviously running out of ideas. <laughs> yeah. No, he just doesn't want to get into trouble. He doesn't want me to punch him in the head. <laughs> uh, you know what? When does it start? I'm gonna submit. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna force him to do like the Jared Padalecki challenge. There's gonna be some. I'm gonna figure it out, guys. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Please. Does it involve standing in the line at Franklin's? Yep. For me <laughs> to buy me barbecue. <laughs> yes. The what the hell? What the hell is happening here? Oh. Uh -oh. Just throw something. Hi. By the way, Zach, Hi. the most masculine thing ever is to throw a half a bottle of vitamin water. So hot. So I was like, oh my God, it's super angry. I have had Is that salt water? Water. Water. water? Boom. <laughs> Down with Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> why did you, Zach, why did you Nutrition is bullshit. <laughs> I didn't throw it at you. It at me. I threw it me. in your direction. It hit me. And by the way, of all the people on this stage, you would be the one I would throw a, a bottle of water at. He's That's British. True. That's true. Because he's British? No, because I'm sure. I don't want to start another war, guys. Because, We've been through that. Because he looks dehydrated. We won. Who's we? The Americans. I thought you were, Can I thought you were Canadian. What? <laughs> Nothing against Canadians. You're lovely people. Uh, Very polite. They, are, they really are. They're lovely people. We love working What with happened? them all the time. <laughs> yes. Where have you been? Something more important? I, 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 yeah. What? Where have you been? I, had, I had to go overseas. With, Where? I had a Heroes yeah. panel at All H. I had what was it about? Heroes. Heroes has been over for years. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's back, people. I'd like to point out that Heroes debuted on, a year Quinto? after Supernatural debuted, <laughs> he's has been canceled, Quinto? and is now going a re up, and we're still going. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he... Hold on, I'm confused. Is that, and and it's all because... Levi? Somebody give me a smart water. <laughs> so I can throw, throw it. it at him. We're still going. All right. You hit me. You hit me. Bollocks, you hit me. <laughs> oh, crikey. It's like a toilet duck. <laughs> <laughs> it is like a toilet duck. Isn't it just square? Then... Lady on the is end. Is that Zach Quinto uh... or Zach, Zach Levi? I can't remember. No, it's, it's Galifianakis. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Leap Quinto, case. it's Quinto, Quinto. it's Zach Quinto. <laughs> He's on Heroes, it's Quinto. It's Obviously, it's Zach Quinto. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Sorry, I lost my voice. Yeah, we're throwing smart waters. We're, it's terrifying. Convoys. Getting rowdy Convoys. up here. He's got convoys. Uh, thanks for making my first trip to the West Coast. I'm terrifying. Here. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Um, I know you guys are all pranksters, but what's your hard limits that you won't? Do. <laughs> I mean, Limit. I, mean, I don't know that word. Limit. I mean, I don't think you guys would commit murder, but uh... <laughs> not intentionally. Why, why would you? Jared even, tried to hug somebody to death last night. I'll tell you that. It's like a bitch. I'm gonna squeeze you till you die. I was yeah. like, oh god. Oh, oh, a hugger. I hugged them too goodly. <laughs> <laughs> um, limits. It depends on who. Misha, I don't think there are many limits. Um, I have limits with with pranking. Jensen, uh, I suppose, because he can prank me back. You know, he knows where yeah, I live. Yeah, you guys can get really mean to each other if you really want to do. We could be very... And so we, just and pick we, on me and we know the extent of our resources, too. So there's... <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. it could get dangerous. It could get dangerous. You just pick on Misha? Wait a minute. Uh, unpack that a little bit. The, the, the extent of your resources... Do we, do we want to unpack that? I, I don't know that we... <laughs> that, seems, that should stay packed. Okay. That should stay well packed. I, my head Pack is doing in. terrible things Let's, with that stuff. I would say, I would say physical... I like would say, vacuum packed. Let's just keep yeah. that. I, I would say intense physical injury, but for the fact that I took a, a tinfoil pan of whipped cream and hold your hand up, I hit Misha's face about because I had to do it fast because he was going to see me. I had a tinfoil pan. I hit him about this hard. <laughs> it, it took them 40 the minutes. Face. 40 minutes <laughs> to, to get, get off the, the pie off the walls. Uh, yes. <laughs> it, yeah, the pie that like, didn't make it on his face was flung 20 feet. <laughs> it was. It was like 20 feet. And the pie that did go on his face also bounced like 12 feet. <laughs> So I didn't mean to hurt him, but he was like going to see me, so I had to be quick. So like, yeah, smash. I like that you were more concerned with a pie on the wall and not his face. It's me. It was 40 minutes ago. It was like 40 minutes ago. I mean, Misha, Misha was bleeding out of the nose, but who cares? 
You, you one, you got him, but you snuck up behind him. I did. Nicely. He was walking to lunch, and just as he was about to reach the Ready. lunch tent, I literally just walked right up behind him, <laughs> came around, just went, ah, oh, it was perfect. Just and just boop, and then just walked yeah. away. <laughs> What Nothing like discovered. a good ninja pie. Oh, yeah. It was a, such a ninja pie. What yeah. we discovered, though, is that Jared is the Lenny of mice and men. <laughs> Supernatural. He's like, I just petted the kitty, and now it's dead. <laughs> so Asia. soft. He, so soft. He so picks soft. me up. He picks me up and shakes me at will. <laughs> He's just like, hey, shut <laughs> It's been too long. <laughs> Scared. Does that answer your question? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, this one right here, uh, your shirt seems green. Yes. Oh. Love it. Since you are pranksters, can I have you draw on my Misha face that I just won? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While that you're the new doing one? that, we'll take another question. So are you going to donate money to Operation Smile for that? Hey, did oh, you? I'm just, I'm just putting you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, sure. Zach, How much would you like to There's a tiny, 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 you guys. Did you hear? We'll get it back to you. So, Sandra, did you hear what the fans put together for Operation Smile? No, what happened? $1,400 donation Shut to Operation Smile. Sandra, Thank are you, you here? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Been collecting money since April and put together just a donation of $1,400. Uh, uh, we're so grateful for that. Thank you so much. Really, yeah. really appreciate that. And you know what? It, it's also, uh, and I, I found out about Operation Smile because of Mr. Zach Levi, but it's such a phenomenal fucking cause. It's, it, dude, there's such a great organization. We actually had on, what was it, Friday? Was anybody here? I did an Operation Smile panel on Friday, and I had the founders, Bill and Kathy McGee, and I cried, surprising. And, um, but it was so amazing because, look, I can, you know, shill about it all day long and tell you guys about Op Smile. And, you know, I, I talk about it all the time. But to actually hear it from the horse's mouth and their experiences was, it was very powerful. So I'm, it, what, I'm so excited that you guys get to learn about it. And then through you guys, you guys get to learn about it. So for everybody that it's touched and if it's resonated with you and that $1,400 you guys raised, that means the world to us. So God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And while this is happening, uh, there is a miniature Harley Quinn. So let's have her stand up because she looks amazeballs. Oh, yeah. hey there. Now Harley has a question. Yeah. So. I love it. Hi. 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 Um, my question is, what is one of the weirdest encounters all of you have had with a fan? Besides that one? With a vegan? <laughs> with a fan. Yes, with oh, a fan. vegan. <laughs> vegan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be pretty scary. <laughs> and let's all uh, just wipe all of the adorability off of ourselves. It just went flying around the room. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So, uh, That's some great give it up for girl. adorable Harley Quinn. Yes. Uh, did anybody have any uh, uh, oddest experience? Um, hmm. I got a New Zealand one. Yeah, I know. I've had some pretty too unique late, ones. Too late. Um, spells. I've had spells sent to me. <laughs> Not joking. Uh, yeah, one, one went to my parents' house. Uh, my mother unpacked a box that was addressed to them, and it was, uh, uh, and it was uh, a collection of unique items. Um, <laughs> my favorite was a... looked like a, a, fairly, a, fairly, a fairly sizable... Uh, pair of white briefs. They were mine. They were mine. I didn't know I put them in the package. I thought right. I, I, yeah. It was the, the, the lipstick kiss on the crotch was a little odd. Um, it, but it, then it was like, but then it, there was like odd soils from different parts of the world and there was bones and, and then it had like an incantation of like what to say. Uh, but it was, it, was for, it was for good stuff. It was protection. <laughs> from people who send you boxes full of and stuff. <laughs> But then it was also... So this never happens again. <laughs> Use the spell. Yes. And, but then a picture of the bus ticket to California to come and visit me. Oh! That By was bus? a good one. Oh, that was fun. That's... That was a bus ticket. By They're bus? Like, and here's the bus ticket. I'm going to go visit your son. What are they going to use to get on the bus? <laughs> They're going to get to the bus and be like... It was a picture. It was a uh, photograph. Oh, it was a photograph it. of the <laughs> ticket. Was it, uh, I thought it was the ticket. I don't know. Nothing ever came of it. But uh, the house was protected. Maybe that's why you didn't... Warded against people who Warded. ride buses. And my, yeah, my mom calls me. She's like, I don't know what to do with this. And I'm like, it's okay, Mom. I've, I've already... I put a giant demon strap around the hall <laughs> like two years ago. You're the, assaulted the house. I assaulted the right. house. You're, you and Dad have all the tools you need. 
I've outfitted you. Like, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. So just trust me. In your actual when life, you just go you, to your parents' house. You're like, back up. I'm just going to put some salt up, in I'm all the gonna, doors. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's mom. Mom, is that can you kosher? make me lasagna? I'm just going to put salt Grandma, down feet, everywhere. Feet, feet. <laughs> Don't leave this circle, mom. Don't leave this circle. <laughs> Don't leave this circle. Okay, that's But great. I have to go to the bathroom. What do I do? Because <laughs> apparently that's what your mom sounds right. like. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's just. Uh, gentlemen, any uh, with Bat- New Zealand? You were saying New Zealand was the most fun ever. But I don't have any. There's no bad encounters with fans. I think fans are amazing. But um, there was a girl that was really, really excited to see me, and she was really tall. She was a tall girl. Taller than Bill Nye the Science oh, Guy. She was, she was like Bill Nye the Science Guy, the eleventh <laughs> Doctor. You mean? Thank you. Um, He's dating her now. Yes. No, that's mean. Um, she was a big girl. She was crying and shaking and everything else and I, I was like calm down everything's okay take a deep breath and she looked at me straight in the face and says I'm just trying not to shit myself <laughs> so I went it okay, gets weird. you keep doing that <laughs> it gets weirder funny. because then she goes uh ah, didn't work <laughs> It was so honest. <laughs> very honest. Oh. Jared, anything? Anything you want to say? Yeah, Jared. Weird. No, I can't beat shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> or an incantation. Yeah. No. Um, no. Your skit- his Skittle story is the best. The Skittle story yeah, is the best. Uh, Gishwe is another Gishwe. Well, you, you talk, I think you've told the Skittle story. We, here, we told right? it last year. I try, yeah. I try to keep it fresh. But it's a brilliant story. <laughs> Flip it up. Now it's, now it's, it's almond M&M's. It's not Skittles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The discontinued almond. Oh my god! Yeah, we told that last year, and we posted it too. Yeah. Yeah, Skittle, that's uh, Skittle, Misha gets a big kick Skittle out of that Jensen. one. Yeah, that was that was. An See, odd that's one. You guys have heard that one. If you haven't, look up that last year's Nerd HQ. Or yeah, come, or come the next year's. <laughs> yeah. Um, we do. Do you guys? Um, do we? Have, we have time. Yeah, let's for do one more. Let's do one more. Yeah, let's do one more. Oh yeah, time over. Do you want to pick one, that. Zach? I'm picking. Why some not? One. I've got the conch. You, uh, you have the talking stick. Uh, you got two we did the friends. We did the unicorn already. You did. Oh, okay. So I wish we had a tiny You have two friends shot. pointing you out. So that's that's a power of three. So I'm going to go with you, darling, right here. Um, hi from Canada. Um, oh, see, the Canadians are hey! here. Oh, they're ganging up. And very polite. No, they just oh, invaded Canada. and they just claimed up in Canada. Uh-huh. You're so covered in maple. <laughs> <laughs> One of your um, band stories you were mentioning, um, you film in my local hometown. And, uh, Vancouver? Yeah, but you also... <laughs> you don't know where you film? <laughs> no, even outside. It's like Pit Meadows. Yes. Ridge. Yeah. yeah. So, Maple Ridge, um, yeah. Guys caused a lot of trouble one night. And, uh, <laughs> oh, the lights. Yeah, there was a... There, I can't remember the exact date, but it was a set. And I don't know what... I can't remember what it was doing, but I worked for the RCMP, and you, uh, we started getting all these 911 calls. You're a Mountie! Yeah. You're a Mountie! So we, we were... <laughs> She's a Mountie. So we showed up, and of course, you know, we're reporting back to dispatch going, uh, it's okay, it's just the cast of Supernatural. And they're all going like, what? <laughs> Meanwhile, no. everyone else started showing up, because they're like, oh, are the guys there, are the guys there? We're like, well, the Impala's here. And they were all like freaking out and coming over. So yeah, they were, they were pretty excited. So. so essentially what you're saying is you had multiple 911 calls where there could have been an absolute okay. emergency, it's not the but because it was the cast of Supernatural, the entire Canadian police force said, oh, we're cool with it. Yeah. We're cool with it. Pretty much. Go Ladies Canada! <laughs> you know Ladies why? We've got two of our guys. We've got ten. We've got Canadian Give it up for our boys from Supernatural. Zach Levi. 